Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Men hate disrespect more than we love sex. I believe that 100%. I want, you, I want the sisters out there, I know you got it. I got, I'm going to say it again because <laughs> there are a couple of sisters out there who are just getting this. Men hate disrespect more than we love sex. So if we hate disrespect even more than we love sex, how much do you think we love respect? Right. And let me tell you something. I can hear a couple of sisters right now going, well, what if I ain't got nothing to respect him for? Okay, <laughs> my sister. Because <laughs> you know they about to say that. I can already what if hear he it. What if he disrespect me? First of all, my sis, if she, if he's unworthy of your respect, my question to you is, why are you disrespecting yourself by having uh. him in your life? Yeah, yeah, so that was a little clip I, I see. I was like, oh, this is very interesting. So I definitely said we have to talk about this on Chaos Culture Radio. So I'm going to pass it to you guys. Uh, what's your guys' take on it? Do men hate disrespect more than you love sex? Um, yes, I think we do hate disrespect. Uh, I'm with him 110 percent because I first when you when you was when you when you gave it that title, I was like, what? <laughs> and my mom was like, what? But after watching the video and you breaking it down, now it goes and now it kind of makes sense. Yes, we do. Man, hate disrespect. It's something inside of us that irks us because remember, at the end of the day, no one want to be disrespected. So when a man, mm. especially when a man, especially when he's dealing with a woman that he find to be attracted, someone he's trying to build with, someone he's trying to find a future with, and she disrespecting him, it, it hurts us so deep in the inside, it feels like God is against us, if you cast my drift. That's why we hate it so much. And even God himself in the scripture say, he don't like disrespect either. You know, he even say, um, the Lord, you know, serve the Lord that God, and honor him, and remember, he he didn't play that, so it just shows you that that's part of our nature. But that's that's part of every human's nature is to make sure we get that respect that we're looking for, that honor. But at the same time, especially for a man, we, we yearn for that respect from a woman to for a woman to respect us. That's what we do. Most of the stuff men do, we do it for the aspect of the woman to respect us, or for him and being to respect us as well. But go ahead, man, brother. This echoes a lot of relationships that I've been in. Um, I get, un I'm not sexually attracted to you no more once I'm disrespected. I ultimately walk away from the relationship as soon as possible. Cause, and I'm gonna be honest with you ladies and I want you to hear this and you can, ha and, and, I, and I want you to, and I'm just being very transparent. My mother has never disrespected me. She's she's nurtured and loved me, and I've never even raised my voice at her. I wake up and quickly do whatever she wants. As soon as I started to get in relationships and women started talking to me any kind of way, and I noticed that I needed to walk away, is I felt like I wanted to put my hands on you. I feel ashamed to say that. I, and, 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 and I want women to understand that we as men go through a lot of pressure. And the last thing we want to do is to is to battle the person that we're coming with. And don't get me wrong. Conflict resolution is something that we need. And this is why therapy, couples therapy is very big. And this is why a lot of relationships don't last. And you have DB situations. Because you you aggressive, I'm aggressive at the same time. I'm a man, so I'm going to be aggressive automatically. Anything can set me off. You know what I'm trying to say? You are my peace. When you talk to me and you calm, you can say the most wildest shit. But if you know how to gently come with me, ain't no, we ain't going to have no problem. There's going to be times I know you're going to have to turn up. But if this is like an attack, yes. There's somebody who I really, really loved. I cared about this person. I love this person. I wanted to marry her. 
and she could, and, 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 and I felt like I had a partner with this person. She did not know how to talk to me. I told her this countless, 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 countless times. I said, my own mama don't talk to me, girl. Why are you talking to me like this? I feel less of a man. You talking to me like this. I said, I'm going to end up beat. I'm going to end up putting my hands on you and I'm going to go to jail for the rest of my life. I said, I got to walk away. I got to walk away. I'm already dealing with traumas. Childhood traumas, society traumas, and this. And I'm going through therapy. I'm trying to work this thing out so I can be a better man for you. It doesn't help you come here and think that I'm just supposed to accept this. You're not supposed to accept this for me either. This is why when men tend to be quiet, we don't want to disrespect you. We don't know how to convey that message right then and there. So when you start saying, hey, you're not talking fast enough to me. You're supposed to be a man. You, you're not acting man enough. Boy, grow up. Oh, you still live at your mama house? Oh, you not making enough money? You not man enough? Oh, you can't take care of me with that amount of money you make? I don't even want to have sex no more. I beat my meat for the rest of my life. There you go. There you go. Um, as we all know, man, we do love sex, you know. That's what we need. That's what we yearn. But respect is, is, is at the highest priority for us. It's at the tip top of our scale when it comes to respect. Um, 33 years old, never had, never, I believe I never had a woman, girlfriend, mother, aunties, grandmothers, you know, um, God, Godmother, never put me, never disrespect me in a, in a, in a manner, no way, no how, because you know, you respect, you say I respect, you respect me. And that's how it's supposed to be. But I see a lot, like I say, during my lifetime, you know, living in Pontiac, living in the hood, and to see relationships and just seeing the schools, uh, some maybe some friends, or just seeing around how, you know, how, like I, I see a lot of women, you know, some sometimes be, be disrespecting men or, or go beyond it and uh, 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 um, emasculating men. And you can, and it's just sometimes you can see a man, it just hurt their souls, you know? And, you know, sometimes it can get to putting hands on a woman. Um, it's just give them, give them so stressed out, you know, you know, and just, it, it really hurts. We disrespect a man. It just really hurts a man's soul. You know, you hurt a man's soul when you disrespect a man like that. And I feel like a lot of, I feel like some, I feel like most women do know that, but Sometimes they don't care. They just want to. They just want to be the authority figure. You know, I feel like women want to be men sometimes. They didn't want to take their authority figure, and they want to. And they want to talk like a man. So if that's the case. They want to keep on disrespect men. Keep, keep disrespect men because I feel like sometimes they want to be men. And there are some some women out there in the spaces who do that. You know, if you go to those spaces in, in YouTube, you, you see that a lot. You know, on these YouTube spaces and everything. Um, <clears throat> So I just feel like, you know, what he just said, you know, you know, having, you know, you know, you know, you know, we put higher, we put respect higher than, than, than sex, which is, which is very, very true. This is very, very true. Um, and me, you know, being married, you know, I'm going to have a daughter, having a daughter, you know, this is really important in my household that I always, you know, have a respect figure, you know, for my wife and for my daughter, you know, that's, that's, and that's, that's how it work, you know, that's kind of, you know, have a good uh, family structure because if if your wife and your daughter don't respect you, man, as you, if you a man in that type of situation, oh my God, all all the stress and everything. You just sometimes you just feel like, you know, you just feel like you like you say you you, you low you, you low on the dirt, you know, down under down under the dirt, you know, six feet under and everything. So, man, I, this is to all men who, who's in situations of maybe in a relationship, married, married, but we're going to show you, show you disrespect, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. It's important, you know, to have respect for yourself. Make sure you have respect for yourself. If you have respect for yourself, then everybody is going to have respect for you. Because once you have respect for yourself, you're going to demand, you're going to demand respect from everybody else. You know, for friends, you know, girlfriends, anybody, because it's important to have respect for yourself. 
that way people can give you respect and and then you know and then you know it, it goes each his own and everything so yeah man respect is very very important for the man he said tip top number one list you know it's, it's, i think it's i think it's more for me some of my people come crazy i think it's you know i think it's more important than love i imagine they get more respected than it is love that's just me me a man when you a boy a young man yes love when it comes to the man to me that's the number one thing to respect make sure you have have that you know you respect yourself as long as you have respect for yourself you're going to demand that people have respect for you and and you, if you respect yourself you're going to get respect from everybody 